It's your brother, Larry Adeneko, welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of our God, all powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Education. It's the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem son upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. I shall intrude this morning on the one connection that will change your destiny. Coming from uh, 2 Samuel 19, 31 to chapter 20 and verse 2 of chapter 20. Let us pray right now. Father, we bless your name, give you glory, give you honor, give you praise of God. Thank you for your help to us here at all times. By faith, we receive that help again this morning with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Samuel 19 31. And Basilai the Gileadites came from Rogalim and went across the Jordan with the king to escort him across the Jordan. Now Basilai was a very aged man, 80 years old, and he had provided the king with supplies while he stayed at Mahanaim, for he was a very rich man. And the king said to Basilai, Come with me, and I'll provide for you while you are with me in Jerusalem. But Basilai said to the king, How long have I to live that I should go up with the king to Jerusalem? I am today 80 years old. Can I discern between good and bad? Can your servant taste what I eat or what I drink can i hear any longer the voice of singing and of men and women why then should your servant be a further burden to my lord the king your servant will go a little way across the jordan with the king and why should the king repay me with such a reward please let your servant turn back again that i may die in my own city near the grave of my father and mother but here is your servant chimha let him cross over with my lord the king and do for him what it seems good to you and the king answered Shimham shall cross over with me and I will do for him what seems good to you. Now whatever you request of me, I will do for you. Then all the people went over the Jordan and the king had uh, and when the king had crossed over, the king kissed Basilai and blessed him and returned to his own place. Now the king went on to Gilgal and Shimham went on with him. And all the people of Judah escorted the king and also how the people of Israel. Just then all the men of Israel came to the king and said to the king, Why have our brethren the men of Judah are stolen you away and brought the king and his household and, and um, all David's men with him across the Jordan. So all the men of Judah answered the men of Israel, because the king is a close relative of ours. Why then are you angry over this matter? Have we, have we ever eaten at the king's expense or has he given us any gift? And the men of Israel answered and the men of Judah and said, we have ten shares in the king therefore we also have more right to david than you why then do you despise us were we not the first to advise bringing back our king yet the words of the men of judah were fiercer than the words of the women of israel chapter 21 chapter 20 and verse 1 and there happened to be a rebel whose name was sheba the son of bikri a benjamite and he blew a trumpet and said we have no share in david nor do we have an inheritance in the son of jesus every man to his tent to israel so every man of israel decided david Followed Sheba, the son of Bikri, and the men of Judah from Jordan, as far as Jerusalem, remained loyal to the king. So much, such a long read, but then uh, it's worth it. All right, then. So, Bezalai, you remember Bezalai was one of the people that provided supplies to David on his way out when he was running away from his son, his rebel son. So, um, as he was going back now, the man came to say um, hello to him again. And David was like, okay, please follow me. Let's go to Jerusalem and I'll take good care of you. And the man... The man was like, no, I'm very comfortable, uh, you know, but then you see, if he had followed David, he would have had quite a bit you know, more influence and then some prestige as well, uh, being around the king, friend of the king and things like that. But the man said, no, 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 let's not bother ourselves with all that. I'm an elderly man and uh, my um, human desires and sensibilities have declined over time. So um, I don't, I, I don't, what, what am I looking for? That's what he said. And as you say something to some of us, you know, as we age, as we grow, a lot of our desires and um, human abilities, sensibilities and sensitivities and interest and all those things, they are going to decline. And therefore, you should understand this, whether you like it or not, it will happen like that. Therefore, use the time of your youth well. Serve God, serve your community, serve humanity when you are younger. Because the time will come when you can no longer do any of those things. You don't need to wait until you are 70 before you want to begin to serve humanity. After you are retired, yes, I will now create an NGO and serve humanity. You cannot do it like when you are young. 
younger. Yes, please serve humanity, you know, when you are in the prime of your life. Um, serve your God in the prime of your life. Serve your people in the prime of your life, not when you are an elderly, because those things are going to decline, just like we read um, uh, in, in this person's case. So the man now went on and said, look, um, let me go back to my own place, but take Chimham and let him cross over with you and do what, to him whatever you think is good. Now, Chimham was his... Uh, one of his personal assistants and um, but this one seems to be maybe he has done so well he was always around uh, Basilai so when he went to you know say hello to David he was with him and um, the man now used his connection to to to, to sort Chimham to make sure that for the rest of Chimham's life it was going to be it was going to be okay so he now said to David see Chimham my my guy you know you take him let him cross over with you and you know you take good care of him uh, to the best of your ability and David said I'm going to not only take Chimham I'm, I'm going to do for Chimam whatever you want. That's what that's the way David answered him. And I will learn a big lesson from there. That look, be good wherever you are. Just be good. That may that may result into um, that one connection that will change everything for you. Now, does like and David, you know, were friends. I know. Bezalel was a very, very old man compared to the age of David. David must have been late fifties or sixty by this time. Bezalel was eighty. Okay, but they were friends. And then, uh, let me take care of you, sir. And he said, no, 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 no. But you can take this, my man. That, there must have been a reason why the Basilai was so quick to say, let him go with you and take good care of him. Yes, he wanted to get him sorted. And why will he get him sorted? He himself was a wealthy man. Nevertheless, he wanted to give him a good stead, a good uh, pedestal, you know, um, yeah, in life. And it because Chima must have been good to Basilai. So wherever you are, be faithful, be loyal, be good, be at your best, okay? You never know that one that one person that to whom you've been good or whatever may be the connection that will change everything for you. That's what happened with this Chima man, and he went with David, and that was going to be the one that would be the turning point for his life completely. And that's what we are talking about today because that one connection you don't even know exactly where it will come from, and it will just change everything for you. That's why wherever you are, you are whatever you are involved in, be at your best. Okay, it may just just change things for you hallelujah so um so they went and he went with him and the people of judah followed uh, the king and then people the people of israel also now came and said ah why are you now the ones associating with david uh we were the first people to say we should bring him back even when the idea occurred to you we said it first and that was a quite a debate and argument on this matter everybody identifies with success everybody identifies with victory that's what happens you know because the story had changed now david had become victorious <laughs> everybody now wants to you know identify with him and that's what happens many times when somebody is successful when somebody has achieved something big everybody wants to identify with him have you noticed that uh, when something ordinary happens you know something ordinary or something bad you hear some um, uh, african-american so so and so and so but when something really great happens they'll forget that african aspect of it and just call it american yeah <laughs> that's what that's what happens typically everybody likes to associate with uh, with success i remember um there's the literary giant in nigeria by the name wale Shoyinka. um you know when it was when he you know got the nobel got awarded the nobel prize yes that's when everybody now remember that they were his relations you know he's from actually from here he moved from here went to live elsewhere actually he was really originally from here that's what happens when success happens people want to identify with success they want to um yeah drop names there and there associate with this person you know and that's what was happening with between these people of judah and people that everybody now wanted to associate with david yeah okay yes you are his people but we were the first to begin to talk about him why are you now trying to everybody wants to be there god help us in jesus mighty name and then there happened to be a man a rebel a man called shiba from benjamin now benjamin was so strive you want to remember okay and says blew a trumpet why well, we have no shine in david you know let's to your tent to israel and people followed him now be very careful there are some people who take advantage of when you feel uh, marginalized or when you feel um, unpleasant about something when you are not happy with something there are these opportunities around they will just come and take advantage of that your 
feeling the way you are feeling bad at that point in time you are feeling neglected you are feeling alone you are feeling unhappy you are feeling maltreated whatever and then they just take advantage of that particular situation in which you are in which often times is temporary uh, often times it's temporary but then they take advantage of it and may lead you into what you ought not to go into be careful about such people typically they are eloquent people they are um yeah they are eloquent they are sanguine they can they can speak great words they can do things that will make you follow them and all that please be careful about such people many times that feeling that you have is a temporary thing it will soon go or uh, circumstances will soon change but you see during that moment they can push you to do what you ought not to do that was what happened with this man called uh shiba you know the son of bikri that's what happens with him and the people followed him typically okay so be careful of such people they exist they will just uh, take advantage of your you know poor feeling at that point in time and then you know uh, get you into trouble at the end of the day let's leave it here this fine uh, wednesday and wish you a fantastic day at work please remember to help us to grow this channel uh, give us thumbs up tell others about us share 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 and in case you are new here please press that notification bell so that you can be notified when our posts come up we really do appreciate you and say thank you bless you